the importance of emotional intelligence. So there are times in our lives when our boss or our boss's boss or our spouse or anyone does something that makes us go, what in the world are you doing? And we get this anxiety and anger and, and just elevation of our emotions because we assume we're under attack. But if you can, this is, if you can take a step back, if you are emotionally intelligent, you can do this. And you say, look, you know, uh, I have a great boss or my husband's awesome. I am sure I am missing something. I am sure they're not out to get me. So I'm going to manage my emotions and I'm going to assume noble intent. And then I am going to try to help others around me that are having that same visceral reaction. So that's what I had to do at this time in my career because when you saw all of the things that were in the announcement, it really sounded like NASA was going out of business, that we would never work on another vehicle again, that they're gonna turn everything over to commercial industry and you know what were we gonna do? So, I was able to, to talk to my employees, to talk to others in the community and get them to, to recognize maybe, maybe it's not as bad as it seems. So let's talk to our supervisors and have their supervisors talk to theirs and figure out what pieces of the puzzle we were missing. So when you are emotionally intelligent, it allows you to become part of the solution and not become part of the pit of despair people that are complaining. So once we wrapped our arms around it, we're like, okay, I see what you're trying to do. We've been operating in low earth orbit, which is you know the, where the space station has been, where the shuttle flies. We've been doing that for 30 years. And there's all these new space flight companies that are popping up that are looking into um, perhaps making a commercial profit in low earth orbit. So. Maybe it is time for us to give those folks an opportunity. And we just focus on the things that are not profitable or things that they can't do. And we, can, we can't go to Mars right now. We, we need better radiation shielding. We need um, uh, better propulsion systems. You know, heck, we need better toilets. There are things we could be working on to make a successful trip to Mars. So this is the messaging that me and, 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 and uh, that I and a bunch of other NASA leaders chose to take on to make sure that we could get our employees to a point where they could move on and um, now recognize that the NASA of old is gone. The Apollo NASA that had all this government funding and it was only NASA going to space, that that was gone and that we had to take on new responsibilities um, and, and adapt to what the, the nation wanted us to become, which was an enabler of a spaceflight economy in low Earth orbit. 